What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and welcome back to the beautiful confines of Nellis Air Force Base. And today we're going to get into a military lot walk around, lemon lot walk around. You already know how it goes. We're going to look at RVs, trucks, bikes, cars, all kinds of stuff. Let's get directly into it. First things first, ladies and gentlemen, we have this big giant pull behind. It's a J flight. Now it looks like see what they want for this 14,500 that's actually not bad 14,500 roof replaced in 2022 wheel bearings man they did a lot of work on this wow must have had hail damage or something for them to replace the roof and you have a solar panel here which is doing something I guess charging its batteries very interesting cool um, and you could do that out here. Ain't nobody stealing nothing. You're on a military installation. If you want to go to prison. We have another Itasca over here. I don't know if this is for sale or if it's just parked. I'll know here in a second when we get around. Sundancer. Ford Econoline 350, huh? And... Yeah, it looks like this one is just parked. So not for sale. So in this area over here, they do that. They will park vehicles. Um, you can park vehicles and sell vehicles. So let's go ahead and start, take a look at the bike. We got a bike over here, which looks nice. Oh, it's, a, it's an actual Harley. I wasn't sure what it was. Heritage Softail, huh? That's beautiful, man. Pretty bike. Not gonna lie, that's a beautiful bike, man. Twelve thousand five hundred or best offer. All right, not bad. I don't know, man. Harley's go for a lot of money. One hundred three cubic inches. I know my dude, New York in your city, would probably be able to tell me more about this bike than I know about it. I'm not really a Harley guy. Maybe Randy over at Auto Watch Rebuilds could tell me more about it, but. It's here, twelve thousand five hundred. I don't know. Is that a good price? Bad price? Let me know. Which gets me over here to this Jeep. Now this looks like one of the old school Jeeps, and you can tell it's been painted because the words Jeep are completely filled in. There's no holes in the words. You see it? That's crazy. All right. So. At first glance, this thing looks pretty clean. 1995 4x4. It's got diamond plating all over it. Six cylinder. It's probably got the 4.0. AC. It's got a very nice winch on the front. For sure. Very clean, man. Very, very clean. Well, whoever did do the paint did a pretty damn good job on it. It looks very good. Notice lawful concealed carry permit on premises. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't see a price on this one, but let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Which gets me over here to this Honda. I believe this is a Pilot, right? It's got some oxidation on the headlights that's easily able to be addressed, though. All right. For sale. Yep. 2016 Pilot with 131000 they're asking for 16000 Oof, that's a lot for this. Not hating, I'm just saying that's a lot for a Honda Pilot, I think. Private party, I guess. It's got some scratches and stuff down the side. You guys can see that. Some little scuffs or nerfs from other paint. It's probably somebody who's getting deployed and they just want to get out from under the loan. Totally understandable. Next, we have this Nissan Leaf. This has to be the most um, I may pull your man card car ever. Um, I don't know if this one is for sale. I see it's got a sticker in the front of it, a thing for it to be here, but I don't see a price. It could be that somebody just parked it here. And believe me, if I was getting deployed overseas, I would not ship this thing wherever I was going either. <laughs> All right. So I don't, oh, it's got papers on the back, so it does look like it is for sale. Let me get over here and see what we got. Yep, 2013 Nissan Leaf SL. 
They want $6,200 for this Nissan Leaf. What do you guys think? Is that worth 6,200 bucks? I don't know what the mileage was. Let's look back and see what they said the mileage was on it. Did it say? 78,000 miles. Ooh, that's a lot of miles on an electric car. Unless the batteries were replaced. Oof, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. And last but not least, look at this big boy over here. We got a Ford Power Stroke v8 diesel i am hoping that this is old enough that it has the 7.3 and does not have the crap in it it is an 05 lariat dun, dun, dun. the bed has taken a few bumps no duh they're looking for 22,000 for it it has a tuner right there Sorry guys, the F-15s are going out today. <laughs> and they fly low as hell when they fly out until they catch up out right there. If you see that in the distance and they bank off. But they stay pretty damn low. So this power stroke, I don't know if it has the 6.0 or if it has the 7.3. It's a 2005, so it probably has the 6.0, right? And they want 22 grand for this. I don't know, man. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. But, uh, wow. I mean, it's a nice long bed, long wheelbase. I mean, it's a beautiful truck, no doubt. But, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. Correction, the truck is 18000 I just messaged the, uh, the owner. 18000 or best offer. And uh, it has a 7.3 in it, and it didn't come that way. So, go figure. So, anyways, there you guys have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you like these videos when I travel or go to different places, I do go to other military installations. It does happen. Um... Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if you guys enjoy these bonus videos showing what's available on the Lemon Lot. In the comments, hit the thumbs up button. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the next video.